From the 22 remaining condors in 1987, there are now over 200 soaring over California, Arizona, Utah, and Mexico. And many of these are now breeding in the wild. Every nest site, every egg, every new hatchling is closely monitored in the hopes that it reaches maturity. And each year, more condors are being released into the wild. But extreme challenges still face every California condor. The goal of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Recovery Program and pretty much the goal of, of everybody involved in the project is to have a self-sustaining population of condors uh, that will not be so heavily managed by people. The problem with condors today is pretty much the same problem that we've had for 50 years and the condors are dying from lead poisoning. Condors eat lead, they ingest it, we need to test them and a lot of times treat them. One of the other problems that we're finding is uh, the chicks are being fed and ingesting micro trash, which is small pieces of tin and glass and plastic. We are constantly having to trap them up, treat them, re-release them, and then that same cycle may happen again. We have to trap them up again. Uh, so it's just a vicious cycle that, that keeps going. So even in the wild, the condors are, are a very heavily managed population at this point. Some of the birds that are found injured in the wild are actually brought back into captivity because they can play an important role in the California Condor Recovery Program. Some serve as ambassadors in zoo habitats, some serve as mentors for younger birds, and others re-enter the breeding program so we can release even more condors to the wild. The challenge now is how to make wild condor populations self-sustaining. The answer is relatively simple. First is to switch to non-lead ammunition because this is the leading cause of condor mortality by far. The second is to make sure that trash is never left in the environment. Essentially, we need to pick up after ourselves. So until we can solve those two problems, condors will not be self-sustaining in the wild. From the brink of extinction and through the efforts of thousands of people, the condor is once again flying above North America. The goal now of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Condor Recovery Program is a population that is truly wild and free to fly as it has for thousands of years. With the Oregon Zoo's commitment to making a better future for wildlife, perhaps the condor will once again be soaring in the skies above Oregon.